So anyone can use Rudraksh. Anyone can wear Rudraksh irrespective of their age, gender, belief system, religion, caste or culture. But still we have many misconceptions about Rudraksh. Now let us look at some of the common misconceptions. So one misconception is that only ascetics should wear Rudraksh. See there are certain Rudraksh that are to be worn that can be that only ascetics can wear. But the Rudraksh being offered here, anyone can wear it, including those who are married, unmarried, people in Grahastha or householder way of life. The next misconception that we have is ladies and children should not wear Rudraksh. See, this is a very common misconception that ladies should not wear Rudraksh. Rudraksh, see when you are on an invert path, there is no man or woman. Gender exists only on the level of body. So ladies can definitely wear Rudraksh even during the time of menstruation. Anyone can wear the Rudraksh being offered here irrespective of their age, gender or physical condition. It can be specially beneficial for children, students and the elderly. The next misconception that we have is that I can give my Rudraksh to my family members or to my friends. No, you should not give your Rudraksh to someone else or take someone else's Rudraksh. Because the Rudraksh adapts to the one wearing it. It creates a certain cocoon of energy. Wherever you go, you carry the cocoon with you. So every person's Rudraksh is different. Every person's Rudraksh is unique. So you should not share it. We also have a common misconception that I can wear Rudraksh anywhere. I can wear it on, on my hand as a bracelet. I can wear it on my ankle as an anklet. Uh, you should not do these things. A Rudraksh is not to be worn around your hand or in the ankle. You should wear it in the neck. And it is best when you are wearing the Rudraksh to string it using a silk thread. But if it's not there, you can use a cotton thread also. In case you want to use metal, it is best to use copper, otherwise silver or gold. But it is always best to use a, a silk or cotton thread rather than a metal wire. Now, if you are tying the knot on either side of the Rudraksh, do not tie it too tight. Otherwise, the inside of the Rudraksh can crumble. It can crack with pressure. If the inside of the Rudraksh crumbles, then it is no good and you should not wear it. Now, before you wear Rudraksh, it is important that you condition the Rudraksh. So how to condition the Rudraksh? You first immerse it in ghee or clarified butter for 24 hours. After that, you immerse it, you soak it in full fat milk for additional 24 hours. Then clean it with water and wipe it with a clean cloth. Do not use any, so uh, do not use any soap or chemical cleaning agent when cleaning the Rudraksh. You can wear the Rudraksh at all times, including when you are taking bath. So it's good actually if whatever the water falls on the Rudraksh falls on your body. But in case you are using warm water, then you should not wear Rudraksh or if you are using chemicals like soap or shampoo, at that time you take the Rudraksh off. Now uh, if after the first time of conditioning, you need to condition the Rudraksh subsequently every solstice that is every six months on June 21st and December 21st. Now this time when you are conditioning the Rudraksh, you immerse it in ghee for three days and then you smear it with vibhuti or sacred ash. Again, do not use soap or any cleaning agents. It is best to use vibhuti that is uh, from Dhyanlinga here at Isha Yoga Center. The Vibhuti is consecrated by keeping it next to Dhyanlinga for a certain period of time. In ancient Indian culture, Vibhuti or sacred ash has always been looked upon as a, a deep aid for inner growth. So you can also apply the Vibhuti on a daily basis between your eyebrows or the Agna, the pit of the throat or the, Anna, uh, or the Vishuddhi and the center of the chest just below where the ribcage meets or the anahata. A vibhuti is properly prepared and you know where and how to apply. It can help you make more receptive and move towards your higher nature. There are many other temple offerings which are there which can be beneficial for one's growth and energies. 
uh, you can find out more details about this from ishalife.com. There is another common misconception about Rudraksh that we should not uh, wear Rudraksh when we are doing something in inauspicious. See, Rudraksh is not against anything in the nature. You can wear it the entire day. Only then you will derive the maximum benefit out of Rudraksh. There are 1 to 14 Mukhi Rudraks and each has number of benefits. So let's talk about that. Ek Mukhi Rudraks is worn by many people, especially athletes. One Mukhi Rudraks help reduce physical stress and relaxes muscles. One Mukhi Rudraks also contains health benefits for those with weak immune system and chronic ailments like cold, cough and fever. Two Mukhi Rudraks are highly auspicious. More commonly, two Mukhi Rudraks help devotees manifest their desire in terms of achieving material prosperity and journal worldly satisfaction in their lives. In addition, these Rudraks help devotees come closer to Shiva and his divine energy. Three Mukhi Rudraks helps in letting go of old worries and pains from past experiences. This Rudraks also brings tranquility and peace, making it perfect for meditation. The four Mukhi Rudraks is believed to control anxiety, depression and stress. It improves memory, sharpens mental faculties and enhances intelligence. Four Mukhi Rudraks protect against disease such as blood pressure, diabetes and anemia. People who wear them are also said to have fewer nightmares which lead to a higher quality of sleep. Five Mukhi Rudraks is also as Panch Mukhi. This Mukhi is seen as processing great healing power in terms of bringing physical balance and good health. Five Mukhi Rudraks brings equilibrium in five areas of your life. Body, mind, energy, emotions and soul. It rejuvenates vital energy required for your overall well-being. The benefit of wearing six Mukhi Rudraks are increase in wealth, good luck, prosperity and happiness, better relationship with spouse and children, reduce health issues, increase chance of achieving goals, fulfillment of wishes such as marriage, education or travel overseas, etc. Seven Mukhi Rudraks are regarded as holy, especially when they are have additional bead in between two beads. It will bring wealth, health and happiness to your life. The eight Mukhi Rudraks is particularly powerful when seeking wealth and prosperity while at work or at home. The nine Mukhi Rudraks gives blessing for long life, well-being and peace. It brings success in business. It removes problems from your life and gives you a lot of courage. 10 Mukhi Rudraks is an amazing Rudraks for health and wealth. You can wear it if you are suffering from disease like diabetes or cancer. If you feel stressed or anxious due to a lack of money, then wear a 10 Mukhi Rudraks for an improved financial situation. The 11 Mukhi in Rudraks represent Lord Shiva who has 11 forms. It's believed that wearing an 11 Mukhi Rudraks help one learn how to realize God's true nature. This wonderful Rudraks help you become aware of your body and mind so that you can begin to make modifications. Its main effect is that it helps to increase wealth in your life by bringing more prosperity and good luck into your life. This amazing beads also has numerous other effects such as helping you achieve success in all areas of your life including relationships, career growth and even money related issues. The 13 Mukhi Ridraks is considered extremely auspicious and bring in all kind of benefits for those who wear it.
It brings about success in work, financial prosperity, good health and mental peace. In Hinduism, it's believed that we are in a 14 mukhi rudraks helps bring about harmony in one's life by bringing balance between body, mind and soul. This makes it ideal for those who suffer from chronic ailments or illnesses related to their physical well-being.